I started Kinsa about nine years ago, and our mission is to curb the spread of infectious illness through earlier detection and earlier response. Uh, I think the COVID crisis has brought to light how important work on early warning is. We need to get ahead of the next epidemic so that we can contain it before it becomes a pandemic. Um, in March, what we saw was an unusual rise in illness levels across the country. And the reason we knew that is because we have a, uh, a network of 2 million households using smart thermometers. Uh, don't really think of these as just an ordinary thermometer. Um, what they really are is a triage system. So an app that provides guidance, but it starts with a, with a thermometer. The thermometer is the secret sauce that allows us to communicate with someone early in their illness journey, within hours of symptom onset and consistently. So we're able to talk to people before they enter the healthcare system. And what we saw was an unusual rise in fever levels. Um, when we analyzed our data, we also saw that there was an unusual rise in transmission dynamics because we can, we can extract and derive information about how fast an illness is spreading on a location by location basis. Um, and that was unusual. Uh, it was not what we expected. What we expected at that particular point in time was a decrease in illness levels. Um, and so what we found was such a large difference that it was atypical. And this is how we identify outbreaks. We take our forecasts of what we expect and we subtract them from what we're seeing in real time. What is left over is a residual. It's something that's left over. And if it's uh, above and beyond the bounds of statistical confidence, that is an unusual outbreak. Um, what we found was that there were unusual outbreaks across the country. 